Dude, I'm getting so hungry. Yeah, me too. And thirsty. I could go for some booze. Yeah, I mean, I could go for a craft beer. Yeah, man. Something unique. Something with soul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my drawing's done. Mine is done too. Let's see it. Dude, I like that. Check mine out. Oh, I see. Going for that abstract thing. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's upside down. We're here in Jamestown at Morrill's Key. Let's go inside and get some beer and brisket. Just through a love of beer, actually, we, we came together and found that this is the perfect outlet for our creativity. We're here all the time. It's like our second home. The entertainment's great, the food's great, the beer is great. Place to be. Our soul is in this yeah. facility, our soul is in our beer, and that is an Egyptian symbol, you know, part of the symbol for the soul. And it was sort of a, a key, a key to the soul, and a key, key to the afterlife. And to us, we kind of thought, like, what's the key, you know, what's the mortal's key? And um, to us, it was really kind of like unlocking all this creativity. And it, it's really been something for us to all express ourselves, honest to God. I mean, it's been the key to like, we've always said people to relax, to enjoy themselves, to... It's a little you know. bit of freedom. It's got a life of its own going on at this point. Right off the bat. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> There it is. Yep. Lovely piece of me. I think I can speak for Doug that we all just absolutely love barbecue. Dude, it just falls apart. It, it just falls apart. Look at that. Really need a knife. Huh? So we've developed that into something that we can provide to our customers as well. We kind of create our own little autistic thing here in Western Pennsylvania that you don't typically find anywhere around. Everything got to be made with the TLC, tender love and care. It got to be the beef brisket. <laughs> And it's always fresh. We make everything ourselves. We make our own cornbread, we make our own mac and cheese, we make everything from scratch. And literally when it's gone, it's gone. It's always gonna come out on point, just sometimes it just has that extra little juiciness factor or something like that that just really melts in your mouth. I've I mean, heard a lot about the brisket. It's to die for. Great food around you, there's great beer in there waiting for you after work. Pretty much just a win-win for every situation you can bring up here. Beer is one of those creative processes that's very similar to art in a way. Our best-selling beer right now is our Kolsch, which is our very light, refreshing German-style ale. We're very fortunate to have Sean McIntyre, this phenomenal brewer with 20 years of experience. So as much as we knew what we were doing, we knew to go get the best. <laughs> you know, that brewer is putting everything into that one batch. That is awesome. This is our Christmas brew. It's like Christmas. He's in love batch by batch. And uh, Tony's kind of the same way with the brisket. You know, he's talking to it. Like, I bet the brisket's really good today. I had never worked in a place like this or been to another brewery or a winery such like this. You know, everything is unique. I really like 
seeing people blossom through their soul, whether it's through beer or brisket or whatever it could be. You know, we're kind of uh, off the beaten path a little bit compared to a lot of breweries in a lot of different places, but I think once people get here, they are blown away by the area and by what we have here. It's still be cold and snowing outside, but I got to try an excellent dark porter. And I had a fine white wine with my dinner. Then we got to try the signature smokehouse brisket. Oh, the brisket was great, so was the pulled pork. Then the chili. Oh, the cornbread. The smoked chicken wings. And we finish it all off with some Brazilian truffles. We're definitely not hungry right now, but we will be soon.